Hello Cameron, I'm Louisa from One Pops. It's lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. Lovely. Um, I, obviously you're in the middle of a big UK tour at the moment with a little known band from England called One Direction. Yes. How are you enjoying the tour so far? I'm enjoying everything about it. It's so much fun to be on tour with them and it's such an adventure and especially being over here in the UK, never been to most of the places we're going so it's exciting. It's really exciting. And what's the highlight been so far? Definitely playing at the O2 Arena in London. That was amazing. It's like the equivalent to Madison Square Garden for us in the US. So right. it's just an honor to be able to play there. Really? And was that the first time that you've ever been in that arena? Yeah, I was. So, I mean, I didn't really know what to expect. So for that to be the first show at the O2, it was kind of like, <laughs> Oh, okay, this is a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's huge. So. Yeah, exactly, but I had a lot of fun. Wonderful. And do you have any pre-show superstitions at all? Is there anything that you do before you sort of go on stage? Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely always do a quick prayer with everyone, and we right. kind of just bless my voice, bless the audience, bless the instruments, bless the technology behind everything, and um, just have a good time out there. And is that something that you do before every single show? I mean you have to, you have to, every crowd's different so everything is, has to always kind of be the same and just hope for the best. Okay so you're very young, are you 13 is it? Yeah. Wow that is really young. So how do you go about schooling while you're on tour? How do you fit in your school? Life? Well I have a, I'm homeschooled so I have a homeschool right. teacher and she comes out on the road with me and we do schoolwork you know every every weekday. Right, so you don't miss out on anything then, you're no. still keeping your education going. <laughs> Definitely, yes. That's wonderful. <laughs> um, so, do you enjoy making the tour diaries for YouTube? That's something that we were interested in knowing. It's it's actually crazy because, I don't know, I don't, I'm not sure I love the camera always in my face at all right. times because I feel like I always have to be huh, ready for <laughs> Yeah, a bit invasive. I mean, I love watching the tour diaries after because I never know what's going to go on them and I just kind of see how weird we are and I'm like, oh, I should get a new group of friends. <laughs> but it's everything that you see on the tour diaries is just kind of what's going on. Sometimes backstage can be quite boring and then other times it can be the most entertaining thing you'll ever see. So really? you just never know. And what would that be? What would be the entertaining thing? What do you get up to? <laughs> Can you tell Different us? things. We get up to pranks and yeah. one show we made we put my guitar player in makeup. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I mean it's just a bunch of that. So everyone would like come in our dressing room and add something different on him. So it was <laughs> poor guy. Oh, it, it gets better. We made him go out on stage like that. Really? And he was happy to do that. I mean, he didn't care. We just kind of made him do it and he was like all right so he's a lot of fun then he is a lot of fun that's brilliant and um, so which is your favorite song to perform on stage oh favorite song um i that don't know difficult I love, isn't it yeah i love playing set the night on fire my second single and right. my new single now or never mainly because they're more upbeat songs so i can always jump around and have fun to them so you like to be singing sort of very energetic songs yeah, I, I definitely think as, you know, an opening act, I need to make sure everyone's pumped and hyped up and excited, and I feel like the best way you can do that is by singing fun, energetic songs. And it must be great when you are singing those energetic songs and you can see the audience perhaps, like, sing, the, the crowd are singing back and they're getting all hyped mm. up and excited. It's, it's definitely fun when you can see the entire audience standing up and jumping around with you, and it's, it's a lot of fun, and you have... When you see that they're having fun, you're having fun. But do you ever get nervous? I get terrified before really? everything I do, whether that's an interview, an acoustic performance, especially shows. I'm always scared. And how do you deal with those nerves? You don't. <laughs> I, you just kind of hope they go away eventually because, you know, once you're done with it, it's kind of like, okay, I'm not nervous anymore. It's over with. We're good. But um, usually when I go on stage, the nerves disappear immediately. Right. But acoustics and interviews, I'm usually scared the entire time. And what is it about the acoustics that kind of makes I don't know. Nervous? I feel like when with acoustics, you know, you're not on a huge stage. You don't have the right. huge speakers to kind of help block out with the electric guitars and the drums. And it sounds There's nothing to hide cool. behind. It's just you. It's exactly. just your voice. It's just you. So it's like if you have a tiny little, you know, mess up, you can hear it's it really clearly. So to you, but maybe not to other people. Maybe, yeah, but it's it's kind of like a, I'm a perfectionist, so I want to make sure everything's perfect. So it's hard to be perfect when everyone can hear everything, and then I psych myself out. But I gotta get over that. 
Well, obviously, we're very interested in One Direction. So yes. I have got a few questions, if you don't mind, to ask you about those. Um, obviously, you've been spending a lot of time with them. Probably <laughs> yeah, a lot of girls are very jealous of you. Can I ask who your favourite is? I don't have a favourite. Really. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. I don't really have a favourite. I like them all. I think they're all really sweet and different in every way. And they're all really cool guys. All of them? All every of single them. one? Every single one. Okay. And what's your favourite One Direction song? Mm, I have a lot of favourite One Direction songs, but um, I have a top two favourite. One of their songs called Rock Me off the new album, and right. another song called Summer Love. Okay, and what is it about those songs that you... I don't know. I feel like Summer Love just gives me this really cool feeling. I love the vocals on the chorus, and Rock Me is just a really fun kind of like we will rock you beat. So, I mean, what's not to like about it? It's fun. Of course. So have you got any juicy gossip that you could possibly juicy share gossip. with us? Something. Please don't be shy about this. We'd love some juicy gossip I on mean, those guys. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Nothing juicy. Just, I, I don't know. Those guys are a bit crazy. You know, I think that, um, you know, everyone's different. So everyone has different personalities. Yeah. Um, specifically Harry. He's been getting into a lot of trouble with us trying to I think Harry gets into quite a lot of trouble, quite a lot. I mean, he pranks, <laughs> According he to our everyone. papers, anyway, I mean, here in the UK. <laughs> but I mean, he's a teenage boy. So exactly. He's just going to go have fun. But yeah, he's a prankster and he's going to get something back. It'll happen. And is that going to be something that you're going to do? or? Probably. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm definitely looking forward to the last show because that's when you can prank everyone on stage and it's fine. So perhaps you're going to say One Direction when I ask you this question, but who is your favourite band? Who would you sort of choose to listen to the most? Um, I don't know. I, I listen to a little bit of everything. Right. Whether that means it's country or pop or rap right. music or metal music, it's, it all varies. So I don't know. I try not to listen to one specific band too much because I want to kind of widen my uh, mind to different things. But yes, I love One Direction songs. Um, I love stuff like Imagine Dragons and um, everything kind of like that, kind of unknown, but still known. So I don't know, I'm all over the place. So you've got quite eclectic taste by the sound to it, but I suppose you can draw from, you know, you can get some influence from mm -hmm. lots of different, inspiration Definitely. and influence from a lot of different artists. Yeah, I mean, your own I, music. yeah, like my sound, I want it to be kind of different. I want it to be a little bit of everything so that everyone can relate to it. But obviously with you being so young, I mean, do you get to hang out with your friends just like normal teenagers? Do you get to do sort of regular teenage girl type things? Definitely. Um, when I have my own time and my time off, um, I, I try and do everything that I possibly can to be kind of normal and just relax, be a teenage girl. Okay, so obviously it must have been absolutely amazing making your first ever music video. So can you tell me a little bit about that? What was that like? My first ever music video was actually a video that no one's ever seen before and I think I was about 10. Oh really? Mm -hmm. So you, right, okay. And it's not released but because <laughs> I'm, I'm really young. I don't have, my teeth are still growing in. <laughs> <laughs> and it was really fun. I don't know, I just remember it being kind of like, uh, it's like 10 o'clock at night, I want to go home. But um, then I did the next music video for um, my first single, Wait and See, and it was completely different. It was a different idea. We were on the set of Judy Moody, um, the movie, and I had a bunch of different people. I had cool props, and it just kind of got really fun and really crazy, and we were just kind of flowing ideas, and I don't know. I loved making it. It was so different and un unexpected, and... I just had a lot of fun with it. And what age were you then? You said you were 10 when you did the one that wasn't released. I was, I think, 11 or 12. Oh, right. So yeah. still very, very young. Yeah. Obviously, but you're only 13 now, which I is mean, absolutely I amazing. That's, that's pretty far away, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I, I've definitely changed a lot since then. So I feel like that's kind of why I look back at it. So, like, I was so young. But, um, I don't know. It was, it was a good young. video. It was a lot of fun. So if you could duet with anybody... Who would you choose to duet with? Is that something you've ever thought about? Yeah, I get this. I get asked this question all the time, but I, I feel like I never have a straight answer. Right. Um, because it always constantly changes. I want to work with so many different artists, whether that means it's Beyonce or wow. someone like the band Fun or, you know, it just kind of changes. Demi Lovato, it's, 
it's everything. I want to work with everyone, I guess. Maybe. Do you think that might be on the cards in the future? Is that something? I hope so. I mean, I would love to do some featuring things with other people. And um, I don't know, maybe you'll hear some collaborations in a bit. Mm, you never know. You never know. So if you had to listen to one song for the rest of your life, and that's never going to happen, so it's quite a surreal question, but if, that, if you had to choose one song, what would it be? It would be Lessons in Love by Neon Trees. Oh, really? And why is that? It's one of my favorite songs right now. Um, it's something that always puts me in a great mood every time I hear it, and I feel like I can't hear it enough to where I'm kind of like, all right, I'm over the song. So, I don't know, it always, it gives me this amazing, you know, kind of chilled vibe, so, I don't know. A feel-good like song. Yeah, definitely a feel-good song. And if you could meet anyone in the world, dead or alive, <laughs> who would it be and what would you say to them? Um, I can meet anyone in the world, dead or alive. <laughs> That's quite a difficult mm. question really, isn't it, off the top of your head? Um, I don't know. I know, it's Musical quite hard. or... Anybody, anybody at all, just take your pick. Oh, good. Somebody alive, somebody dead. Okay, someone dead, I would love to meet Shakespeare. Right, and okay. And I would say, what makes you write? in such a language where no one can understand it in the future. <laughs> Very good um, question. <laughs> and then, um, alive, I'd love to meet Beyonce. Right. And, you know, just kind of ask her and just ask her advice about, you know, performing and how she continues to just rule the world in her amazingness. Well, perhaps you will get to meet her when you're Hopefully. doing your duet and collaboration think, with I her in the future. Exactly. So who's the funniest person that you follow on Twitter? Funniest person I follow on Twitter. Um, that Will Ferrell comedy um, oh, Twitter, right, Phil yeah. Werrell. Mm -hmm. I die what, like reading all the tweets and I'll, I'll go on Instagram because they have their own Instagram page and it's just their, their tweets. And it's, I don't know, they just say the funniest thing and they're so random that it's perfect and it just makes it that much more funny. And it always makes you laugh. Always. Yeah, that's good. Well, apparently you've, you're fast getting a lot of followers and you've got just over 330,000 at the moment. <laughs> who would you like to follow you the most? Oh goodness, who would I like to follow me? Well, Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> I take it that you're a Beyonce fan. I, I can see a theme am. here. Yes, um, <laughs> Katy Perry. Um, right. So I strong know. female yeah. singers. I um, mean definitely Wilson. strong female singers. I definitely want to be a strong female singer, so I don't know. Um, so many different artists, it's actually crazy. Um, definitely Bruno Mars, um, Neon Trees, you know, e everyone, I don't know. I, I feel like everyone who's on my iPod, I would love to follow me. So you just need to keep checking. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then see, yep, score. She's Stop. following me. Yep. <laughs> okay, right, I've now got some quick fire questions. Oh, okay, it's just a little bit of fun for the end of our interview. Okay. So I'm gonna say sort of two things and you've got to say which one you would prefer very quickly. Okay? All right. X Factor USA or American Idol? X Factor USA. Blackberry or iPhone? iPhone. Coca-Cola or Pepsi? Coca-Cola. Dog or cat? Dog. Twitter or Facebook? Twitter. Harry or Niall? Oh. <laughs> that's not a good one. I can't decide. Come on, you have to. Harry or Niall? <laughs> Harry or Niall? I don't know. I don't know. I can't decide. I can't. Okay, Harry. okay. Oh, you decided, I'm Harry. Harry. Harry, okay. Well, I think a lot of girls. No, often but then Niall, Harry. no. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think they're both awesome. You like them both. Yeah. Okay. Right, well, that's the end of our interview. So it's been so lovely to meet you. And Thanks to meet you too. Best Thank of you luck for with the future.